Tourne. I've sailed all my life. My profession was sailing. I started off teaching in dinghies and windsurfing and got sidetracked into bigger boats and more racy stuff. Sailed for Britain, sailed on <coughs> Royal and Sun Alliance with Tracy Edwards, which was an all-women's uh, attempt to try and beat the round-the-world sailing record. Unfortunately, the rig fell down in the Southern Ocean, so we ended up at Chile, in Chile. But I've all my life I've been racing yachts and sailing. I retired from sailing full-time four years ago. My husband retired, so I thought I should stay and look after him. So now my only sailing basically is for Cow's Week, and I do it for Red Funnel. I started sailing uh, when I was about five, so that's 60 years ago, and I've been doing it pretty much ever since. I started racing seriously, went back 10 years after that, and in the past, um, for a while, was sailed in some Olympic trials, didn't get through, but, you know, tried to, tried to do that, and then I've just gone on sailing pretty much ever since, and racing hard most of that time. Now I don't do as much. We do this every year. We, we used to have boats of this sort of size ourselves. But now uh, we just sail on other people's so streets a lot cheaper and a lot more fun. I've been sailing since I was young, as in really young. I've started racing in the last 10 years, but I normally race out of Plymouth. Yachts there. Just a bit of lasers and but now I'm mainly a university sailor, so team racing in Sheffield. This is my first Cows Week and I'm having a fantastic time. Hi, I'm Stan, I come from an island up in the west coast of Scotland, brought up with water and learned to sail there. I joined the services way back in the 80s and sailed all through my army career and then I was fortunate to be up with uh, Hannah and Nick and sail with them ever since. Uh, we do cows, looking after people, making sure their fingers and toes aren't getting hit and things like that. Sort of biggest sail was obviously the Fastnet, done a few times. We were fortunate to go out to Antigua and St Martin, we're racing out there, so a wide variety of sailing. You see here today, nice sunny day in cows, a beer as well, quids in. Good days. Slightly different in the fact that it's not a fast net year, because normally in a fast net year you get extra boats coming in, they do a little bit of work up at a few days at the beginning of the week, and then set themselves up to actually go racing on Sunday to the fast net rock and, and back to Plymouth. So yeah, there is slightly less boats, but obviously it's still competitive, and more boats are getting more competitive, so yeah, good days. Bad day in the water, they say, and uh, rather than a good day in the office, I'd rather be out here, that's for sure. Week. Amazing day in the end. Started off with a little rain squall this morning. I was thinking, oh, the weather's going to be horrible. Turned out that it was actually really nice. The weather was good, nice breeze, and we ended up second. So a lot of messing about on the start line, but then got clear air, got sailing. Had a couple of legs that things didn't go very well at all. We ended up fifth at the last mark, and then the last leg we sailed up really, really well. It was all really nice, and we managed to pull ourselves up to second. Nice day, good result.